Vector databases are trending these days. And you know what's causing it. Generative AI. VCs are pouring lots of money into startups that are either building vector databases or generating vector embeddings of text or images. But what exactly are vector embeddings? And why is everyone using them? Today, we'll explore how to create vector embeddings of a PDF document, store them in a vector database, and make queries to find similar text information using natural language. So stay tuned until the end of the video. We'll be using the OpenAI Python SDK for generating vector embeddings and Pinecone to store and query information. So what are vector embeddings? They're vectors that help represent text or image information in a high dimensional space. But why are these vectors useful? Let's say we have the word dog. When we calculate vector embeddings for this word, other related words like puppy or hound will have vector embeddings close to that of the word dog. This allows us to query information from a vector database just by using natural language. Instead of using SQL queries, we can write any kind of question and retrieve information if it exists in the database. Today, we'll create a Flask application. This will enable us to upload a PDF document and ask any question to retrieve information from the document using plain English. Let's get started. We'll use Pinecone Vector Database to store and retrieve vector information. First, let's create an index named Docs Analyzer. The dimensions will be 1536 and the metric will be cosine. Let's go ahead and create this index. Pinecone comes with a Python SDK and we'll use it to interact with our index. Let's install Pinecone, OpenAI, and Flask packages using pip. We'll initialize Pinecone and OpenAI with keys and create our Flask application. First, we need an API to upload a PDF document. Inside our API, we'll read the file from the request. Next, we'll extract text from the PDF and create overlapping chunks so that each chunk will have a few lines overlapped, allowing us to have previous and next chunk information within the current chunk. Next, let's retrieve chunks using the getVectors function. Each item we insert into Pinecone has a schema containing three values, id, metadata, and values. Metadata will be the actual chunk information in plain English from the PDF document, and values will be the vector embeddings retrieved from OpenAI. Internally, it calls the getEmbeddings function to create embeddings for the given chunk using the OpenAI Embeddings API. Next, we'll create a batch of 250 vectors and insert them into the Pinecone database. That's it. Now our Pinecone has all the vectors for our PDF document. Let's create a second API to retrieve information from the Pinecone database by asking questions. First, we'll read the question from the request. Then, using the getMetadata function, we'll retrieve metadata from Pinecone. We'll create embeddings for the question and pass them to the Pinecone query function. Pinecone will return metadata of chunks where the distance between the vectors of the question and the vectors of the chunk is smaller. This way, we'll have metadata that is very similar to the asked question. Then we'll send this question and metadata to ChatGPT to format the response. Finally, we'll return the final response. Let's test our APIs. We'll upload a PDF containing the resume of a candidate using our process API. Once the document is processed and saved to Pinecone, we can start asking questions. Here's a sample question, and here's the response. Let's ask a second question, and here's the response. For simplicity, we used a two-page PDF, but imagine processing thousands of very large documents with hundreds of pages. This is why these vector databases are trending right now. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Thank you.